And welcome to the first part of a brand new series that I have been working so hard on. That's why there's been a little bit of like a lax period in videos for the last like week or so because I've been dedicating a lot of time to this Let's Play and I'm really excited about it. It is not a challenge. It is just kind of a story, if you will, and uh it is, as you could see from the little opening clip that I hope turned out good and that you actually saw. If you didn't, you don't know what I'm talking about, but it is based in San Maishuno, and it is based around two sisters, which I'm sure you also saw from the title, that are the Blackburn sisters. And this right here is uh, our lovely Sophie Blackburn. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and do a little quick, quick overview. Uh, we are currently residing in the fashion district in San Maishuno. Uh, they actually live in this really beat up apartment, as I'm sure you can tell. It has some decent furnishings, but it is definitely uh, not as nice as some other places here in San Maishuno. So we have two sisters who are, they are twin sisters, and we have right here, this is Miss Sophie Blackburn. Now the interesting thing about these sisters is that they both have the romantic aspiration, except for our dear Sophie here has the serial romantic aspiration, whereas her sister has the soulmate aspiration. Sophie and um, <clears throat> Aria, who is actually over here, she's just waking up, they are both young adults obviously because they're twins and their parents passed away you know when they were younger so they moved they had to move out on their own and they didn't really have a lot of money so they moved into this kind of terrible apartment and both have worked in their careers to kind of save up a little bit of money because they're hoping to move uh, they really don't have the greatest relationship they're kind of just acquaintances which is really sad because they are twin sisters but you know they just they're really different they want different things so they really just don't get along very well uh so sophie here is pretty skilled they all have they each have their skills she's really good at charisma pretty decent at comedy not the greatest cook but she won't burn down the house if she makes a grilled cheese she's excellent at dancing pretty good at fi fitness she's actually kind of a musician as well uh, she's very artistic as I'm sure you can see so that is what her skills look like 
she is a public relations coordinator so she recently just got promoted not that long ago uh, it's a level four it's pretty good she's trying to get into that uh, you know PR kind of side of the social media career she's definitely trying to get her name out there uh, Sophie is romantic outgoing alluring and non-committal so she that might be a problem when it comes to her career, but she's really trying to make a name for herself in, you know, that area of the world. And she doesn't want to quit her career, but she also, you know, is kind of flighty. Now, her sister Aria, on the other hand, so let's go ahead yeah. and change her clothes. Uh, outfits. Uh, we'll put her in her every day. Really? You're going to eat first? Uh, her sister, Aria, is quite the opposite of her twin. I'll get a good view of her. She's quite the opposite of her twin. She is a foodie. She's family-oriented. A little bit clumsy, but she's also alluring from her romantic aspiration. Uh, Aria is very good at bowling. She actually has her own bowling club, which we'll look at soon and she's decent at baking pretty good at charisma she's really good at cooking you know that's kind of her her hobby that's what she likes to do and she's actually pretty good at singing as well and Aria is in the uh, political career branch in this like the social uh, what is it charity organizer or something I forget the the branches but yeah she is a level three politician and she's just got to uh, work on her tasks for the day here but I did mention that she has some clubs she actually has two clubs she has the fancy foodies which one of her best friends Danielle is in and Penny Pizzazz who is her neighbor and she has the bowling buddies which is made up of her three best friends Violet, Amanda, and Danielle and they get together every once in a while and they have little bowling parties because they are all decent at bowling. I would say that Aria is probably the best though so that's her aspir or that's, that's her hobby and Sophie you know she's her hobby is like going out to the club and dancing like she doesn't really have time to have clubs or anything she's just trying to get her name out there in the world of public relations so yeah uh, they actually both have to do their tasks for today they're gonna work from home Aria needs to debate and write a letter we're gonna go ahead and let her eat breakfast though what is she having some fruit cake not you know what I would choose but whatever Sophie is needing to watch TV for two hours and have 1500 followers which you know not the easiest thing to do considering she doesn't really have that many but we'll go ahead and we will have her share an image to her followers and maybe um, I guess update social media status so Aria is actually seeing someone she's seeing Byron as you can see right there she has a few friends around the neighborhood but really you know she doesn't know too many people oh there's Penny Pizzazz let's go ahead and talk to Penny Penny is actually one of the few townies I've kept in the game that's one of the things that took so long I actually went through the town I deleted pretty much every single townie that came with the game like the goths and all of them so that we can start with a fresh palette I only left Penny because she had already uh, become friends with Penny so I didn't want to just delete her friend but we're going to go ahead and deba debate politics from the left. <laughs> and yeah, so oh, I also put a bunch of new lots in and I put a mix of new Sims in. Some mm. I made, some I just found on the gallery. Some of them what? are your guys' creations. Oh, Same okay. for the builds around. Uh, I honestly hope, uh, oh, Arena. apparently they don't share the same political views, but that's okay. Friends can get past that stuff. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully... You guys are excited to see what this this uh, LP brings because, trust me, there is going to be a lot of drama. Uh, her sister is actually on the computer. Let's go ahead and have her watch videos. Uh, I don't even know where you do that. Web. 
watch videos. So we're going to have Aria maybe invite Byron out to get some lunch or something somewhere. So they decided to come on over to the Club Slate Internet Cafe, which is located in Willow Creek. They don't really hang out much in the city when they do hang out together. They try to kind of go... Uh, go other places, get out of the city for a while. Let's go ahead and have them come sit here together, I guess, so we can get this date under way. Because as you know, she has the aspiration to meet her soulmate, and she's kind of hoping that Byron is that guy. So we're going to go ahead and just talk to him a little bit about her hobbies and, you know, just brighten his day a little bit get this date started. Uh, Byron is actually a really, really nice guy. She's known him for a long time. He, he does have a child. So that's something that is kind of appealing to uh, Aria here because she knows that he's interested in family and that he's interested in, in like having a family and whatnot. So that's something that really appeals to her. Um, She's just really into Byron, and she's hoping that he is the one for her. So I think she would probably take it to the next step and, you know, maybe give him her apartment key so that he can get in to see her whenever he wants to. I'm actually going to have them come sit upstairs just to have a little bit more privacy, I think. I'm not sure where they're going. They're, like, coming outside, which is interesting. It's an interesting choice. Oh, she gave him the key. Yay, he accepted. Well, you know what? I think that's all she really wanted. So maybe we can go ahead and uh, give him a kiss. You know, they, they've they been seeing each other, but they act... Oh, I just sped through it. I would say they actually haven't kissed or anything. So she just gave him a first kiss, which is really nice. Maybe caress his cheek a little bit, considering I just, like, sped through the kiss on accident. And uh, just give him a real kiss to say goodbye, and we'll go ahead and head home. Maybe our sister is off of the computer finally. All right, it does look like Sophie's off the computer, so we can go ahead and write this. Oh, we'll let her go to the bathroom first. You can do that, girly. Uh, we'll go ahead and have her write her letter, and then she'll be done with all of her tasks for the day. So maybe we can go ahead and head to the bowling alley. But first, let's check in on Sophie. Uh, she's not really doing the best at her career. She's kind of... You know, she's, like I said, she's a little bit flighty. She's really trying, but it's hard for her. So we might have her go visit her best friends as well. Um, she might want to cook some, well, make some fruit salad just to have a little bit of a snack before she leaves. Now, Sophie has, she's pretty good friends with Penny too, which is good because they're neighbors. But she has two best friends named, one is Clarissa Phipps. And the other one is Genesis Kearns, and they are actually roommates across town. Um, I think they live in the art district, but I could be wrong. I don't really remember exactly. So hopefully we'll see them uh, in a few because they are truly her best friends. She basically, like all of her friends are super gorgeous, and they all basically oh. look like Victoria's Secret models, and... You know, obviously, as you can tell by Sophie, like, by looking at Sophie, that she's really pretty, too. Um, she definitely doesn't have this, like, white blonde hair naturally. My guess is she's a brunette like her sister, but, you know, she dyes her hair, as many people do. So she can kind of have that bombshell look, whereas Arya is a little bit more natural, and she's also a little bit more curvy than her sister. Like, she has a little bit more weight on her, and... You know, there's definitely nothing wrong with that, but it's kind of made her a little insecure. So I think that could be one of the reasons, too, that they don't really get along because, as I said before, they're just really different and they really uh, both, they both just come from different worlds, have different interests, have different friends, look different, even though they are twins. So it's definitely a point of contention. As you saw, Arya, instead of talking to her sister, turned the TV on, which says loads more than I could ever say about their relationship so uh, anyways guys I'm gonna go ahead and let them finish eating and I will see you over at Genesis and Clarissa's house so just a quick overview here is like a map of Sam my Shuno the girls live uh, wait I don't even know where they live anymore <laughs> they live right here in um, you know the fashion district and then I believe that yes they live over here in the art district. So we're going to go ahead on over there. 
So this is Clarissa and, uh, oh my god, I'm blanking, Genesis's, uh, Genesis's, Gen, that sounds weird. This is their home, regardless, uh, Genesis and Clarissa's home. I did not make it, I got it off the gallery. It is very beautiful, I think. Uh, but here is Clarissa, let's go ahead and zoom in on her. She is so cute, like, she's so funky, I think. And, anyways, Genesis is like a gamer she works in the tech guru, guru career she's very like technically minded a little bit of a geek but sophie loves her she's her her nerd as she says and you know still she's like smoking hot the whole the whole girl group is just like ridiculously attractive where are you going girl She's like, no, I'm leaving. Uh, she must have, to, must have had to go to work. And then this right here is Genesis, who is also just a glamazon, you know, ridiculously attractive. So we're going to go ahead and have her talk to her friend a little bit and just tell her, like, she's getting super bored. She can't really keep up with all of her followers. Like, she keeps losing followers on Simstagram, and she doesn't know what she's doing wrong, and she really just wants to, like, get to the top of her career, but it's too much work. It's more work than she wants to put in. You know, just sharing her her thoughts with her. And there's also the fact, too, that, you know, she is a serial romantic, and she doesn't have a romantic partner right now. And that's difficult for her because she's someone who is always dating. So I think Genesis might tell her, like, hey, let's go out on the town and get a drink and, you know, just get you to relax a little bit. Maybe meet someone. All right, guys. So they decided to come over to Zach's Bar, which is a small club that is in Windenburg that they tend to visit a lot. It's it's, you know, colorful, relaxed. It's one of their favorite hangouts. So we're going to go ahead and order a drink together. Doesn't look like there's many people here. I mean, it is like three in the afternoon. So, you know, probably, probably not many people come to the bar at that time, but she's having a, she's having a rough time with it lately. So we're going to go ahead and get a couple ridge ports for them and have them uh, just talk it up a little bit, share their feelings. This is actually Danielle, uh, Aria's, one of Aria's best friend's husband, Ryan. So we'll meet them at a later point. And Sophie knows him, but she's just like not, she doesn't care enough to acknowledge him. They don't really know each other that well. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce, introduce ourselves to this girl, Nyla, here. She looks like uh, oh, she could be an up and comer. She's dressed pretty fancy. I'm digging her makeup. So let's go ahead and talk to her a little bit. Oh, it looks like she doesn't really have the time for us. We're starting to fill up a lot more. A lot of women, which Sophie, like, she dates women sometimes, but she honestly, she kind of prefers to date men. Oh, there's Danielle. This is a. Uh, this is actually one of Aria's best friends, Danielle, and that's her husband that was over over, uh, over there. That's her husband, so. But yeah, she's looking for a man at this point in her life, and there's Byron. <laughs> and it just doesn't look like there's that many options here, but she's getting to know some people, so that's kind of cool. Um, oh, who is this guy? Micah Glass. Well, let's do a flirty introduction to him. Where is he? He's like over here ignoring us. <laughs> One of my goals in this challenge, well, it's not even a challenge. One of my goals in this LP is to complete their aspirations because I feel like these aspirations I do frequently, but I never actually finish them. So I really would like to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do that. But I'm going to have her, you know, talk to this guy a little bit. She's liking him. You know, he's one of the cuter guys in the bar. There's some others here, but definitely Micah caught her eye. So I'm going to go ahead and have her just chat a little bit to him. And can we, like, tweet out where we are? Check in at Zach's bar. Definitely do that. Get those followers up, girl. It doesn't really look like it, but we'll have her we'll have her take a photo with her friend. That'll be good. With Genesis. Take a mid-afternoon bar selfie. 
Oh, they're so cute. Honestly, friend group goals. These girls are gorgeous. All right, let's go ahead and leave her here to enjoy her evening and check back in with Aria. So Aria decided to come over and talk to her best friend in the whole wide world right here. This is Amanda Owens. This is her best friend. They've been best friends for as long as uh, our girl can remember. And she's going to go ahead and just check in with her because they're getting ready to go to their bowling, you know, bowling night. And she just wanted to come and see how she's doing before they head out, have a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time before they meet up with the group. So she actually lives in the same neighborhood. Uh, we live in one of the buildings over here and she lives in this building right here. This is her daughter. If I can zoom in over here. This is Olivia Owen. She's a super cute little girl, funky style. And they live in this house, which is actually pretty nice. It's definitely much nicer than uh, where Aria and Sophie live because she's actually got a successful career in business and her husband is a doctor. So they make quite a bit of money and can afford to live in this nicer home. So let's go ahead and have her run upstairs and use the restroom really quickly. Um, I don't, I think this is like the private restroom. Where is the, I guess we have to use her master suite, en suite, whatever. She doesn't have a downstairs bathroom, it doesn't look like. Um, she's also really hungry, but it doesn't look like they have any food out right now. She's just finishing up using the bathroom. Maybe, can we, can, does brushing teeth help hygiene? Because they're going to go bowling. I don't want her to get stinky. So let's go ahead and brush her teeth. I mean, it's kind of weird, but some people carry a toothbrush with them. I used to. Like, when I went to high school, I would take my toothbrush with me. So, it's really not that weird. All right, let's go ahead and... Where did our friend go? Oh, it looks like her husband's home from work, which, you know, could be a bad thing because, you know, her husband might look a little bit familiar to you guys I don't know if he does but yeah so unfortunately for our sweet Aria the man that she is absolutely enamored with and the man that she thinks would be a great father and would be you know the best person to start a life with is actually her best friend's husband so you know that's not really the best thing maybe not serenade him in front of your friend I think like look at her she's like girl I know you're out there it's hard for her because she she is like jealous she is wanting that relationship that her friend has with him and her friend and her husband don't really have the best relationship which is probably why he's kind of going after Aria but you know regardless uh Maybe not the best time, especially in front of their daughter. So we're going to go ahead and get the group together and go to the bowling alley. Uh, let's go ahead over to clubs and start a gathering. Oh, wait. I don't want to start a gathering here. In the gathering. All right. It looks like the club is meeting up and they are getting ready to have their bowling uh, it's not a party per se, but their group. I don't know where the other two girls are and why they're not here. It says they're here. Enable moonlight bowling. Ooh, fancy. So yeah, they have a bowling club called the Bowling Bettys, and it looks like just Amanda and Aria are playing right now. I'm not sure where everyone else is, but they have like their cute little matching outfits, and they take it pretty seriously. I think it's pretty cute actually. Oh, there's Violet. Okay. Violet is really cool. She's like super funky and like her normal clothes are really kind of, they're just very eccentric and she's just a fun girl. She's really creative. And then our girl Danielle over here is just the family type and like her and her husband recently moved out of the city and are getting ready to start a family. So, you know, they're all at different stages in their life and I think Aria is a little bit jealous of that you know all of her friends are doing things Violet's a career woman 
you know, Amanda is a queer woman and she has her family as well. And not only that, but she's married to the guy that Arya thinks she's in love with. And then Danielle is, uh, you know, starting a family as well. So she's a little bit jealous of that, I think. But the girls are having their bullying night. So let's pop back over to Sophie and see what she's up to. It looks like Sophie may have had just one too many to drink. She's over here on the mic trying to sing, and that's just not one of her skills. Which is honestly something I think that she's been jealous of her sister for. She's like singing My Fair Lady. Uh, yeah, she's been jealous of her sister for that, I think, because, you know, I, I said before, Arya uh, is jealous of, uh, of Sophie. Sorry if I get the names mixed up. It is a new LP. Uh, she's jealous of Sophie, but Sophie's also jealous of Arya. Like, she really wants, oh, she wants to get to know her sister. Like, she looks up to her because she is a little bit older, even though they are twins. Um, Arya is the older twin. La, la, la. And she looks up to her sister, and she really just aspires to be like her. Like, Arya is very driven and knows what she wants and, you know, is the quote-unquote good girl, even though she's, you know, in love with her best friend's husband. But Sophie doesn't know that. So, you know, they they think the other, like, basically... They think that each other are perfect, and that is just not the case. But since our girl's feeling a little bit juiced up, um, maybe we can head downstairs. Oh, I love your, your hair, sir. You look fabulous. And see if Micah is still here. Oh, he is actually coming upstairs to us. Um, because she and Micah actually had a little bit of a talk. And... They are getting a little flirty, so let's go ahead and continue that because she really doesn't want to go home by herself tonight. So maybe let's go ahead and compliment his appearance. And maybe we can, you know, ask if he's single. That girl's really just creepily staring at us, to be totally honest. It's weird, miss. It's weird. <laughs> Maybe offer him a rose. Can we exchange our numbers? That would be good. I don't know what I just asked him, but we're... Oh, and a risque question. Uh, let's go ahead. I just asked him a risque question again. Probably not. Can you get out of our conversation, lady? We're trying to take someone home, if you don't mind. Let's go sit ahead and have our first kiss. And maybe whisper seductively, like, hey, let's get out of here. See what he says. He's definitely into it, so we're gonna go back to his place. So this is Micah's house. He actually has quite a bit of money. He lives in San Maishuno as well, in the art district, I believe. So she's really into that for sure. Let's go ahead and flirt with him. So it like, seems like they're getting a little flirty on their own already. And uh, let's let's kiss his neck. They're not even inside yet. Things are getting hot and steamy. Um, let's go ahead and kiss his hands, and then we will... Wait, discuss what? Fear of commitment. Yeah, not the most attractive thing. Uh, let's go ahead and woohoo with him. Or, you know, he can ignore us and get on his phone. That's cool, too. Let's woohoo with uh, Micah. Looks like he agreed, so Sophie is going to be spending the night here with Micah tonight. And, uh, you know, probably feeling a little bit better about herself for sure. Maybe in the next part we can have Micah take her out to dinner. But uh, for now we should give these two some privacy and go check back in with Arya. It looks like their bowling tournament is over. And the bears are just really pissing her off. So, is that Byron? Oh my god, that is Byron. Yeah, see, I told you that Amanda's husband was a doctor. Byron is a doctor. <laughs> so, uh, there's too many witnesses here, so we're not going to say anything to him. But they're, uh, they, I mean, Arya is getting pretty tired. So, we're going to go ahead and send her home. Uh, looks like they already ended the gathering on their own. So, we're going to go back to our apartment. 
home sweet home and in case you're wondering it just popped up and so it made me think about it if you want to know what the lot traits on this lot are it needs tlc it is a quake zone and it's haunted so this is like a terrible apartment it is literally the worst but she's kind of sweaty from bowling so i'm gonna go ahead and have her take a shower and use the toilet and maybe clean up this fruit salad that would be good for sure and then we can definitely put away leftovers because we're trying to save up money to move away um, and this is Aria's room I'm sure you probably figured that out and it's kind of dark because all the lights are off but this is Sophie's room and maybe we should have her come in here to check and see if her sister is home because it is you know almost midnight and she's definitely used to her sister being out late and they're not the closest like I said before um let me just recap yeah she's they're just acquaintances but she still loves her sister so you know maybe we should send her a text and just tell her we're worried about her and we hope she's being safe and that you know she's not gonna try to like walk home or something in the middle of the night by herself so yeah, and then I guess I'm going to go ahead and send her off to sleep. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I think it was pretty successful as far as first parts go. They're always a little bit awkward. We'll zoom in on Arya sleeping because that's not creepy at all. Uh, they're always a little bit awkward because there's just like a lot of explaining and stuff. But I really have worked hard on this part and I can't wait, or on this part, on this series. And I can't wait for you to see what's going to happen. I do have like kind of a storyline I want to follow, but I'm definitely open to your ideas and thoughts. And uh, if you want to put some Sims into the world, you can use the hashtag ToriSims1 on the gallery. It's Tori Sims with a Z at the end. Just a lot of people get it mixed up. Um, but yeah, just like my channel name and you can just hashtag them Tori Sims1 and write you want me to use it for the Blackburn Sisters LP and uh, we can put them into the world and you'll see your sims throughout and it's definitely like there's a lot of space still I, I deleted pretty much every townie except for penny pizzazz and obviously like there's random generated ones or whatever but all of the original townies are gone so i want to make this a fresh fresh lp with like new people so leave your people for me on the gallery uh let me know what you thought in the comments down below i hope that you enjoyed and you're excited as always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, everyone!